welcome back to my channel. Today's video it is a full review in detail of my two uh, Max Mara iconic coats. This was a highly requested video both here and on my Instagram so I'm finally filming it. I'm quite excited because these are my two favorite coats ever. I would repurchase them immediately so after a while that I've been wearing them I'm able to really share with you I think like the pros and cons. So it's the Madame coat and the Teddy. Um, now these are investment pieces definitely. I didn't buy them both at the same time. I bought the I bought the Teddy first like two years ago and this winter I bought the Madame. Now um, as I was saying they're definitely like investment pieces so in the video I'm gonna try to give you like all the information like not just only the pricing but you know all the pros and cons of the coat to understand if it's a good coat for you before you invest in them and then I'm also gonna link down below uh, the retailers where I would buy them myself where they offer like good prices and they are trustworthy to like spend so much money on. And before I start I'm gonna give you like my measurement just so then you can compare because I know that this is a question that is gonna come up in the comments anyways so I am quite tall I'm 175 I think is like what 58 so I'm quite tall I have very long arms so this is the main reason why in most of my clothing with long sleeve I tend to size up otherwise the sleeves fit very short on me and uh, I wear normally a size medium which would be an Italian 42 and K10 so this is like an overall of my measurement so you can compare it uh, to your own size so both of these coats were on my wish list so they're not uh, impulsive buying, of course, they are so expensive, but I know that they are classics that I can take with me for life. Because Max Mara is an Italian brand, I would say it's definitely better to buy these coats either from a European website if you want to buy online or if you get the chance to travel to Europe to buy in store. And then you can even get the VAT at the airport, so that is like an extra uh, money off. Um, but then if you don't have the chance to travel to Europe, I understand and I'm just gonna leave uh, all the links down below for you. I'm gonna start from the teddy simply because it's, I have to start from one and this is the first one that I bought and um, so this is um, the iconic teddy coat. I went for the very classic camel color. Um, I do like other colors as well, but I thought because it was my first, I don't exclude that I'm gonna buy more in the coming winters because I'm so happy with it, but I thought I'm gonna start with Camel because it is the classic of classics in the teddy coat. And in terms of pricing, the price varies a little bit from websites, but not much, so it's like between 1900 euros up to 2100 so it's just about to find the best website with the best price for it I'm gonna leave it down for you uh, but that is like more or less everywhere in Europe the price point sizing so it comes in only like small medium and large I wear okay it already comes very oversized so I would say normally just go for your uh, regular size or some people I know that even sized down because they felt that it was too bulky I actually sized up but because as I mentioned in the beginning of the video my arms are so long that look is not too long on my arm this one and then the medium would be like this and for me a winter coat cannot have leaves too short this coat it is so warm so that is like Probably one of the downs of the coat, if I have to find a cons, it is that I only wear it when it's very cold or if I know that I'm gonna go in winter sit in a terrace then I will wear this coat. If you live in like very like North Europe like Finland or Sweden where the temperature goes like minus 
a lot than I think is worth it. Um, Canada, for example, but um, but where we live, like so, I spend a lot of time between like Italy, London, and Amsterdam, that and Paris. So sometimes I would say that it is too warm for it. So that is the only thing. Like I uh, I only wear it when it's like very 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 cold. Uh, but then uh, going back to the sizing, I also think that is like a very good coat. For example, like if you are plus size or if you have like a big chest, you have like a lot of room. So I think it's a very good coat. Or like for example, if you are pregnant or you're planning on getting pregnant, I think this is a very good coat that you can use in winter. Even if I was nine months pregnant, I think this coat would fit me. So <laughs> perfect. Uh, in terms of fabric composition, it is obviously reflecting on the price. It is 88% camel wool and 12% silk. So it is, as I said, very, very warm, very cozy. Um, when I wear it, in terms of styling, I don't really need to wear a scarf with it because even if I don't bottom it up, but I just do this, like it is warm enough. So basically, uh, when I wear this, I don't need like an extra scarf to keep me warm because this is literally like so cozy. It's just like almost like leaving the house with your duvet on you and it's just like the best. I really like to wear it open. It is um, double breasted so you have buttons and I never really wear a bottom but just to show you this is how it looks like. Uh, but this coat to be honest is supposed to be worn like quite baggy like a lot of times. I understand that if you uh, walk down the street you're not gonna walk with your coat like this but I wear this a lot for example if I know that in winter we're gonna sit in a terrace like even like a heated terrace this is the coat I wear like just on my shoulder like this it keeps me super warm and anyways the way I wear it is always like kind of like open because as I said it's so warm that it still keep you uh, very warm anyways and then eventually if I feel really cold I do this but this is the way I like to wear it just like that. In terms of colors if you click on some of the links down below you can see that it comes in a large variety of colors uh, also like quite of like bright colors that is not something I personally wear but the other color uh, I would buy and I probably will buy with the ears because as I said this is kind of uh, the first two ones that I bought because I intend to expand my collection towards the ear and I really like also the black one and I also really like the sort of like light beige taupe color so those are like my top three colors that I really like. One of the last things I want to say about the teddy is that you kind of need a handbag, like a bag that you can carry because I can show you example, like it's not easy to you wear a cross body with it. I'm just gonna demonstrate it for you with two bags. So this is the, uh, my Chanel top handle. So this is a sort of bag that I would wear with, just like this, or Basically, if you want to wear a crossbody, the coat, it fits, but it, I think it doesn't look amazing because then first of all, you have to fold it and then it feels, it feels bulky because uh, of the sleeves that are like cut quite below. So if you want to, if you want to wear a crossbody bag, I would wear it underneath and then leave the coat open. So, like this. You know what I mean, this works. Okay, on to the next iconic Max Mara coat. It is the Madame coat, also called 101801 coat. This I bought it in September, so a few months ago. 
Um, actually, um, well, because I'm Italian, always known Max Mara coats. My mom always used to wear Max Mara coats, and so I kind of grew up with the knowledge that when you want to buy the best coat out there, you go to Max Mara. <laughs> so. What happened is that when I was in store two years ago to buy the teddy coat, they showed me this coat and when I try it on, I completely fall in love with this one. For me, it's like the coat. There is nothing out there comparable to this coat. And so, but I felt that day it was like too much to buy two coats on the same day. But it just stayed with me like in my mind and I thought like, okay, Next time I'm gonna buy the Madame and uh, yeah, I, I still love it like the first day that I saw it. The Max Mara Madame, it is the most iconic within the three Max Mara iconic coats. There are of course the Madame, the Teddy coat and there is another coat that is called Manuela that is another iconic Max Mara coat but this one um, is like also the oldest. Um, it's very cute because inside the lining you have the story of the coat, uh, which is, it, yeah, it's also in English. So it's in Italian and English. So and it was uh, designed and launched in 1981. So it is, of course, like an 80 style. Like it stayed like that. Late 80s is my favorite um fashion era uh, so I always get inspired by late 80s as well with like my personal styling so I had I had to have this coat and um, the design didn't change since then and this has always been the best selling Max Mara coat it is double breasted you can button it up and then you have uh, kimono sleeves and the way of wearing it, it is with the sleeve uh, rolled up a bit. So this is how uh, I saw when I did my research, but also like how the shop assistant showed me when I was in the Max Mara uh, store. So this is the way to wear it with the sleeve like this. And then it comes with a belt as well. So this is how it looks with the belt. Uh, the only downside of the belt is that um, it's not attached so the belt is loose and uh, so it is kind of easy to lose it. The day that you wear it without the belt you should leave the belt at home. I always wear it without the belt to be honest and then uh, to store the belt here you see there is like a little hook so when you are at home this is how you put your coat away. So you put the belt here and you store it away like this so you don't lose it. I sized up so I have an Italian 44 and um, again because I want a really like 80 styling coat I want it to be long, I want my shoulder to be like nice and drop and I want, I'm going to show you the same, so when I do this, look, I want to be able to roll the sleeve and then still, that they don't still look short and then this is how it looks even with the sleeves rolled down. Um, as always, I prefer to wear mine open just like this um, but this is how it looks like bottom up and it's still quite roomy like it's a bit of a boxy cut so even bottom up it doesn't become too tight and I also like it I like it both ways but I always prefer open just because you know it looks a bit more like undone like not too perfect and it's just probably like a personal styling taste. This is like slightly more expensive than the Teddy. Um, it is, I checked online like the actual price, it goes between 2000 euros 
you don't really find anything below 2000 up to 2100 so slightly more expensive but similar price to the teddy so it's another definitely another investment coat it comes in six colors all very like classic timeless colors like one day maybe I'll have all six of them. This is how much I like this coat. So I really like the black, I really love the navy blue. Uh, the um, tobacco color is also very nice. This is the classic camel, so again I went for the most classic first and then eventually I add up later. And uh, in general, like this coat, I think it like the Kelly or uh, Birkin over mass or the Chanel flat bag or 19 of Chanel and then when I think of a coat in the world that is like the best most classic coat ever for me it would be the Max Mara Teddy or the Madame but the Madame even more than the Teddy I think just because the Teddy became quite it's still a classic but because I've been trending for the past few years uh, maybe some people might get tired of it already because especially if you are a lot on social media you see people wearing it a lot while this one I think is only for like connoisseur like if you know you know it is also very warm like not as warm as the teddy but it is obviously a warm coat because it's an excellent fabric composition it is 90% virgin wool and 10% cashmere, so it is super soft. Uh, it's just like a pleasure to have it on. In terms of styling, if you like, as you can see in the cutaway, if you really like to wear mainly crossbody bags, I think the Madame, it is easier, like it is more ideal for you because it does work both with like handbags and crossbody while wearing a crossbody on the teddy it is a little bit more complicated they are obviously dry clean only so at the end of the season what I do I normally take my coats to dry clean and then I get them professionally cleaned and when you buy them they both come with a Max Mara protective dust bag and then I normally store them there in my rail. Okay guys, this is it for the coat. I hope I covered everything. I hope it helped. If you are thinking of buying any of these, you can find the links down below here. I hope it was helpful if you have to make a choice. I know that they are both really like quite big investments, so I hope the video helps if you have to make a choice. And uh, especially if you don't have Max Mara in your city and you don't have the chance to just walk into the store and uh, try them on. Let me know what you'd like to see reviewed next. I think a lot of people on Instagram asked me to review my new Goyard bag. So that is probably going to be my next designer review. And I'll see you next week with the next video. Bye!